Welcome guys, let us see the steering geometries which are being used in the wheel alignment. There are four important geometries that has to be adjusted or that has to be considered while aligning the front wheels. Let us see one by one. The first one is caster angle. Actually the caster angle is the angle made between the steering axis and the vertical axis. This is the vertical line and this is the steering axis. This has to be seen from the side. So this is the side view of a wheel. So when you see from the side the angle made between the kingpin axis that is steering axis and the vertical is called caster angle. For better understanding I have shown you an image from a flicker. So this shows you an extreme positive caster angle. This caster angle generally helps the wheel to align with the direction of travel. This is an extreme case. Usually the caster angle will be in the range of 3 to 5 degrees in modern cars. And the next angle is camber angle. Camber angle as you are seeing in this figure, this is a negative camber. Uh, a negative camber is the camber where the top side of the wheel is inside and bottom side of the wheel is outside. This is negative camber. Whereas I will show you a positive camber. Here you can see the top side of the wheel is outwards and the bottom side of the wheel is inwards. This is positive camber. So this negative camber is generally given in the sports cars. This is the angle made between the tire center and the absolute vertical. So this is the angle made between the center of the tire line and the vertical that is absolute vertical that is called camber angle. This camber angle in negative in this case negative camber angle improves the grip of the vehicle when cornering because of increasing the contact area of the tire with the road. This is true only for the outside tires. The inside tires will not have more grip whereas the inside tires gets benefited by positive camber. Generally the heavy vehicles will be given a positive camber. This positive camber will become vertical. It will be nullified when the load is given over the vehicle. So when the vehicle is fully loaded, the vehicle will be lowered and this positive camber will become zero and the wheel becomes vertical. And this is the second angle, camber angle. And let us see the third angle that is kingpin inclination. Kingpin inclination, it should be seen from the front side of the vehicle or rear side of the vehicle. So this is the angle made between the tire axis and the kingpin axis. So this kingpin inclination increases the scrub radius. Let us see what is scrub radius. Here we can see this is the bottom of the tire. So this is positive scrub radius and this is negative scrub radius. Here you can see a neutral scrub radius, that is zero scrub radius. The scrub radius is having its effect on the contact with the road. If the scrub radius is more, it pushes the wheel into the ground. So that's why it is having its effect in this uh, road grip. And the next angle is toe in. This has to be viewed from the top. So when you see from the top, the distance between the front side of the wheel is lesser than the distance between the rear side of the wheel that is called a toe in this toe in generally stabilizes the car in straight run this same case will reverse in the vehicles when the vehicle takes a turn so when a vehicle takes a turn as we know the inner wheel has to move low number of rotations and the outer wheel has to move more number of rotations so the inner wheel will turn more and the outer wheel will turn less thereby it will create a toe out so this toe out happens only on turns it makes the turning easy so we have seen four different angles one is caster angle camber angle kingpin inclination and toe in and toe out on turns so these are the angles which are checked and adjusted during the wheel alignment i hope this video helped you to understand this have any clarification please post it in the comment thank you